Where is everybody? Where is everybody? Hi, Billy. Hi, sir. So I just expanded the universe, and of course, the two blue boys were the first ones out, and now they're back in here. And uh, I always say, and I told Lexi this time that I really wanted to do that, which was to make our lives a little easier and not, like normally I open up the entire kitchen way too early, and then we have half the area covered with pee pads, and it's just really tough. Uh, and this time I could see that maybe it's the weather being cooler. We also haven't gone outside yet, and we will do that in a week or so, even if it's pretty cold, because they'll be old enough and we'll just take them out for short increments. But we have a beautiful covered porch and we always use it as like a complete dog playground. And this year we got some artificial turf in a different part of the porch even, because we have so many different experiences for them. We'll have like a ball bin and we'll have... Um, sand tables. I mean, it's just crazy how much we have. But anyway, um, the thing is, which is why, again, I hope I can breed Daisy one more time just because, and that's why I'm kind of open to guidance on, you know, my next steps because I love this hobby and I do have a lot going on. But anyway, um, I also love my job, so it's like a tour. And I know I'm one that won't say yes to anything unless I know I can do a great job, but uh, again, lucky I have Lexi and Jace, and there's even other people I could find if I needed, uh, if I ever did go full-time, but anyway, here's what I'm talking about. I expanded their universe to over there, and I wish I had the camera at the time, but it was charging, but right away, hi baby, Lotus and or Clover, if you've looked at my post from Facebook, I can't really tell them apart, and I think we were either going to have to put collars on them or something. I figured out that Clover has two white spots more on each paw, whereas Lotus only has one paw. At least that's the clover and Lotus we're going to go with. Um, but look at my little scrappy guy. Or is that? I don't know if that's tiny. No, I don't think that's... Oh, there's my little babies right there. There's tiny. There's little tiny Tim. Or tiny Tim. Tiny T beating up on honey. Um, but watch. Guys, who wants to come over this way? Lotus, clover. They came right over here, and they were really interesting. They didn't go in the papers yet luckily, but they went over into this uh, kennel, which is great because it is true. I do like to get them crate trained for everybody. Um, and they were having a big old time in there. So yeah, what we got going? Who wants to come over this way? Huh? Who likes? <coughs> Look at this. Oh yeah. I know it's lunchtime though too, isn't it? Oh boy. Oh boy. That's a loud bark for a little one. Um, who wants to come over this way? And I had to put this on their thing earlier so they could, like, uh, fly the coop. Anyway, for anybody who does watch this that doesn't know a lot about Staffords, they're really not barkers. Uh, they're very quiet dogs on a comparative basis. Like Obi, our Doberman, he is a watchdog, and he's a big barker. Um, who's going to venture over? Anybody else? I know you did, Lotus. Here come Lotus. Good boy. Come on, little buddy. Here he comes. Hey, breathe. Oh, here come Clover, too. See, what did I tell you? The lookalikes. And actually, this is Lotus, I think, and that's Clover, but I'm not sure. I probably have it wrong. I think I do, um, because uh, here comes Lotus. He's. The, I think he's definitely the heaviest right now. He's big boy, and he was the firstborn, so I hope we're right on. He was always a little bit heavier, but it seemed like for a while Clover had a rounder head, but now I think Lotus does. Um, here they come. Here come my boys. Good doggies. Yay. Oh, and look who's coming over. Tiny T. Good boy, T-Bone. Look at him. Oh, back over. Not sure. Everybody's... Is this a bad time to do it, Lo? Because of lunch? Yeah, that's Lo. That's my little Lotus. Yes. And good boy. What are we thinking? And really, this is one of his first times on hardwood. So look at him go. Good boy. I'll put something down for him to have a little familiar... Clover, you can do it too, buddy. Come on, Clo. Come on, Chloe. Come on, guys. Come on, T-Bone. Yeah, look at this. Who's coming? Who's coming over? Hello, my little man. i got to give him a lot of... Oh, and he's going to growl at me, which he never... This one's not a growler. Oh, here come Clovey. Yay! Yay! Good boys. Oh, come on, T. You can do it, my buddy. Oh, you got... Okazi, oh, you a watcher? Not sure. And who's that? Oh, BB Queen. Come on, Beavers. Are you next? Are my blues the bolds? 
Actually, they're all dang bold, which is why I'm thinking <laughs> it's going to be great. We're getting talking to a lot of people because it would be nice for everybody or most everybody to be gone around eight weeks as much as I will miss you. I know that'll be the perfect time to get you all in your new homes to get that kind of one-on-one -on -one that they start craving. We don't mind being left with a few, but it's always a nice thing when everybody launches around eight or nine weeks, which is what we usually do. Hey, babies. But sometimes we're used to having puppies more towards the summer, so it might be a little better time. But we're talking with lots of good people, aren't we? Come on over. Look at baby queen. Come up and here comes Kazi. Good boy, Kaz. Good boy, Kaz. Yeah. Who else like to come over and see me? Oh, Yes. Yes. And like I say, this is their first time on this floor, and they're hungry, so this is kind of interesting. Um, do we have a huge universe now? Is the banana helping you guys get over? And look, who's my genius on the papers? Good job. Um, all right, they're all doing amazing on the training. And look, I still have it so that we can expand further, but this is where Daisy can still go in and out because we're still gradually weaning. Uh, because she became such an amazing mom, I kind of don't want to wrench them away from her. But by five weeks, which is next Wednesday, I may have to do a wean day if she's still, you know, I don't know. I'll see. I want to go kind of gradual, but I also, for her sake, getting back into shape with showing and what a large litter and calcium and all that down the line, it's probably better to kind of do a wean day right around five weeks if she hasn't done it and doesn't look like she's planning to. Good boy, T. Here he comes. Here come my beautiful T. Come on, T. This guy's freaking adorable because he's little, as you can see, but nothing it, nothing deters him, does it, beautiful? He, oh, he's handsome. Look at that expression, too. He also reminds me, all the reds look like Asher to me. Maybe to some degree Sunny and Honey more than anybody, but I don't know. Goldie and uh, little uh, T are more petite, but they are really got a lot of Asher's expression, too. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up now so I can feed everybody.